Hello everyone, I'm Aditya Gunti from Australia. Uh, nice to meet you all via YouTube. Today I would want to discuss about the age-old discussion, debate, understanding and belief that at different hemispheres the rotation of water in the sink or the toilet uh, or in your bathtub has got an opposite directions of the drain. Uh, so let's see if that is right. Uh, so many people have gone to an extent of experimenting this, uh, traveling both the hemispheres and checking it and then many people believe this, that uh, this is the experiment of science and they have got the evidence of the Coriolis effect. So, so this deflection of directions at different hemispheres happens because of Coriolis effect and the Coriolis effect uh, is, a, is a science term, a science uh, subject. Uh, so to understand what is Coriolis effect, let's see this small video where these four friends are having a nice time playing the ball. So, so look at this gentleman, they're all throwing ball to each other now. So now what happens is when this person over here, this gentleman throws the ball to the lady who is in the opposite of him, the, so the ball goes straight to him and then when she throws the ball back to him, the ball goes straight to him. That's because the Newton laws of motion says that unless a body will be in a motion unless it is have it is having an external force deviating its directions. So let's see. So they all are sitting now in a platform that is stationary. If we put all of them in in a, a rotatory platform and see what happens. So let's spin this platform and let's ask them to throw the ball and see what happens now. Okay. So that's the lady throwing the ball to the person opposite to her and see what happens. So while the platform is being rotated, instead of the ball going to him, it went to the gentleman right to her. Look at that. So look at that once again. So the ball got deflected rather than going straight to him. So this is called Coriolis effect. In real, Coriolis effect is a fictitious force. The Coriolis force is a fictitious cause uh, that makes an apparent force. Uh, so let's see what these people are doing so these people are also demonstrating uh, Coriolis effect so this gentleman is drawing a line uh, next to the scale using the edge of the scale while this lady is rotating the paper underneath so see what happens when he's even though he's trying to draw a straight line next to the scale we have got a parabola there there's a deflection of the line and became a curve look at that so that's what is Coriolis effect. Okay, so to understand it much better, so have a look. So this black ball over here is trying to reach the red dot. But when the platform is rotating, even though it appears to be going there in a straight line, it is in a curved pattern. So this is just a, a relative way of looking into things. Let's check this experiment as well. So on a rotating platform, again, this person throws the ball. So rather than the ball going straight to this lady, it's get deviated, deflected to a different place. Let's see that again. So now let's see again. So this person again tries to throw the ball and see what happens. So the ball actually took a curvature if we put this this is a stationary camera so the camera on the top angle is just stationary while the platform at the bottom where they're sitting is rotating over here on the right hand side you have the camera fixed to the rotation of the platform that they are sitting on and see what happens here the ball appears to is, appears to be going in a straight line but here the same ball is appears to having a curve so that is Coriolis effect. So I'm sure you all have heard that uh, the hurricanes form in Northern Hemisphere and Southern Hemisphere have got different directions just because of this Coriolis effect. If you put this, the, this thing into experimentation, this is what happens. See, so this lady is trying to pass the ball to this person and this person is trying to pass the ball to the lady. But now what happened, the difference between the previous experiment and this experiment is so let's say in the previous experiment they are in this here let's say that is northern hemisphere southern hemisphere and take this 
bucket as uh, equator because that's where the fulcrum is that's where it's the whole thing is based on and now they have the lady have moved from there to here and then see what happens so when they both are now these both people have a different center and see what happens when the same experiment is repeated you see what happened there so so you have different directions at different places you see one is like that one is like this so look at that once again so that's why the Coriolis effect on the hemispheres and then the hemispheres has got different uh, directions at different hemispheres so if you can go to any of the science website you will definitely find those informations and you would understand how it works because the earth is having a curvature and it's got a diameter of uh, 38,000 kilometers at the equator and then as it goes to the poles it gets uh, lesser and lesser so the speed at the equator has to be faster than the speed at the poles because the equator has got a much larger uh, distance to cover in one rotation while uh, the poles they even have this if you see uh, if you draw a line there at the pole it has got a shorter distance to have one rotation uh, so that is why that is why the equator takes uh, the equator speed is faster than at the pole so all these factors into uh, the formation of the directions in uh, hurricanes so 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 now we understand so that's the equator so the equator passes through African uh, countries. So you have Kenya, and there is Congo, and there is Uganda. So there's there's many tourist travels that, that uh, many tourist people that travel to these places, and there is uh, an experiment that happens uh, at the equator in these countries, especially in Uganda, uh, showing that how this Coriolis uh, work at the equator, and then just 50 meters, uh, sorry, 50 feet apart from the equator so let's see what happens here so they have got a basin a kind of thing that we can assume and they've got a hole at the and in the middle and then they pour the water so what has done is there is there is um, what they do I'm sorry this may what they do so they've got this so they apparently they say that's the equator for them and they put a bucket and sink at the equator line and they put 50 meters away on either side two more sinks and uh, to the northern and southern hemisphere so now this is a so northern hemisphere and then this gentleman demonstrating the experiment pouring the water at the northern hemisphere just 50 feet away from the equator line that he drawn and then stabilizes the water takes out the little piece of metal and then drops in a flower and you can see the flower is rotating uh, clockwise in the northern hemisphere okay that's a great experiment so hence prove hence is proving the Coriolis effect on the northern hemisphere so this gentleman is doing a great favor to science hmm is he really let's find out let's let's keep watching the video and let's find out what's happening here okay so because of Coriolis effect in the northern hemisphere just 50 feet away from the equator you could see the effect and the water is draining in clockwise direction and then let's see what happens in the southern hemisphere okay so that's so that's southern hemisphere so again 50 feet on the other side of the equator they pour water again in the sink and then so it shows the uh, anti-clockwise counterclockwise so he pours the water and then he drains the water so he stabilizes it first and then drains the water and let's see what happens so in the southern hemisphere when he drops the flower and it's having a clockwise direction so southern hemisphere is having a, a clock well, sorry anti-clockwise direction and the northern hemisphere they're showing that there is a northern hemisphere they're showing there is a clockwise direction and then southern hemisphere they're showing there is an anti-clockwise direction so now the question comes to you what happens when you do the experiment over here on the equator so maybe you have already understood in at equator you would not have any direction and the water just flows down so he puts that into experiment so see that he, he said that's a zero degree latitude and 
they pour the water in there they pour the water in there and then they stabilize it of course and stabilize it and stabilize it and stabilize it okay he took it off now and put the flower and it drains the water let's see what happens now so there is no motion to it uh, so there is no spin there is no direction to it it just drain directly to the bottom let's see that once again so you see that's what he claims to be a zero degree latitude over here just one second so that's what he claims as a zero degree latitude and then he stabilizes the water the equator then he drains the water and then he still stabilizes 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 i'll explain you everything in few moments what's happening here See, there's no spin. It just went straight down. Okay. So you all might be very surprised, glad uh, as of uh, now seeing these videos. I'm sure many of you have seen these videos before. And I'm also shocked when I saw this uh, on YouTube. And the many travelers who have posted this on YouTube. And to my disappointment, no, none of the traveler had found out that this is scam, this is trash, this is magic, this is sleight of hand. Today I'm trying to debunk it uh, and show uh, what is it actually. Okay, this gentleman call himself as uh, Kalungi and uh, Uganda does this trick scam and then he takes money from tourists uh, who are gullible, who doesn't understand how science works. Of course he is using the terminology of science, of course he is using the concept of science uh, and then uh, explaining, showing people through an experiment how would a Coriolis effect on the either side of the equator so that's what he does uh, he's got a couple of uh, sinks that is placed 50 feet away from the equator and then he pours the water and then they have in a different direction but I don't know if you have caught the first flaw already which I found southern hemisphere he had put the direction to counterclockwise and northern hemisphere he put the direction to the clockwise and he showed the same in the video as well that he drained the northern hemisphere to the clockwise and the southern to the anti-clockwise but see that's not then he's showing that it is clockwise because he's a scammer he doesn't know what he signs he doesn't know the facts he just heard or know that the Coriolis effect has got different directions on the water draining or, or the hurricanes and then he just came up with this without even checking uh, so this is a flaw first flaw that I, I could say to you because let's go to the uh, National Geographical uh, website so that's the National Geographical Encyclopedia and if you see that the Coriolis effect on uh, northern hemisphere it should lead um, sorry one second Okay, sorry there. So the northern hemisphere, the northern hemisphere, it should go counterclockwise. At southern hemisphere, it should go clockwise. Remember this very carefully. Southern hemisphere, it should be clockwise. But because these people don't know actual science, they are showing southern hemisphere as counterclockwise, which is a flaw, a mistake. They've already caught here. But to my shocking that no one had seen this so far, and no, no one had ever raised these questions uh, no one had ever had any doubts on this and every traveler who went there proudly took a video and posted it and uh, they are very glad that they spent some money on this science experiment but in fact this is not a science experiment this is a fraud this is a scam uh, uh, using science uh, terminology and i would show you how it does uh, how it how it happens and what he done there so i live in uh, uh, Western Australia in in Perth. So I'll show you where is it. So I live in the southern hemisphere over there So I live in Western Australia. That's the state in Australia and then that's Perth. That's where where I live. So that is clearly to the Southern hemisphere. So that's the equator. So I live over there. So that's clear in, in the southern hemisphere now I would demonstrate this to you how I could So now I, what I've done is I've done a couple of experiments. Okay, so as per, as per the actual science data, 
that in southern hemisphere in australia where i'm living the water should drain in clockwise direction let's see what i've done there so you watch me so i've got a sink and i pour water and then i unplug it and i put a flower see what happens hmm the water has got anti-clockwise direction in australia strange hmm you don't believe me i'll show you one more time so that's my second attempt look at that i pour water i unplug the drain have a look it's got an anti-clockwise spin again hmm what's happening is the coriolis effect going wrong that's the third time you see there i pour water i unplug it and then i put a flower it's got it's got a direction of anti-clockwise so what i have done here or this gentleman who is scamming people and looting the money the what they are doing is is just a sleight of hand and i'll show you how it happens so when he puts in one sink he's got a direction there of the water already what he does is he pours the water okay if you see there he pours the water like that in a straight line towards the right hand side of the center of the vessel okay when he wants to spin the water on the other side he deflects you see you see the angle of the angle of uh, sorry uh, you see the angle of the bucket you see the angle of the bucket it's on the other side so he's targeting the left side of the center of the bowl so what happens with this okay how does it make any big difference i'll show you in a moment so what happens here when he puts the water here to the right hand side of the center of the bowl so the water hits these walls it hits here it changes the direction it hits here so basically it is going into this anti-clockwise direction the same thing happens over here when he puts the water in this direction you see here you put to the right hand side and when he wants to spin the water he puts on the left hand side the water hits the walls hits the walls and it make a rotation like that so basically this is a controlled trick that they could turn the water as they as they want because these people have got no inference in science they don't even know actually what directions does the water should drain in southern hemisphere and northern hemisphere if coriolis effect has to be true in these things so that's a fraud these people even take money to make these certificates that you have been at this latitude zero degree latitude uh, in uganda so this is all fake so save yourself if you go to uganda or any of these african countries where this uh, water draining trick is being uh, done uh, you would ask me okay if that's this if that's the way that how he could manipulate the spin of the water then what happened to the zero degree latitude at the equator the water drained straight down if you can see here it is quite understandable that these vessels that he used for uh, south and north have got a deeper inclination you see that but the one what he has got the equator is more flat at the base you see how flat it is it's very flat here it's got a little bit of elevation there a little bit of elevation there but from here it is completely flat so what happens he puts the water there and then he stabilizes the water here more than he stabilizes there so that the water is already in a base in a flat base and then he stabilizes it and when he pulls off the plug to drain the water it goes straight down so all these three tricks that he's done is just by the sleight of hand and it's got nothing to do with uh, Coriolis effect so so now you know how he's done what what he's done and what they do at equator uh, scamming people and uh, taking the money in terms of uh, showing these experiments in the name of science and also giving them the certificates so you already know now this experiment first floor first floor of the experiment is if the coriolis effect has to be if if at all it is to be true in this particular vessel 
the southern hemisphere should have a clockwise direction but he is showing an anti clockwise direction the northern should have uh, an anti clockwise direction but they are showing a clockwise direction that itself is fake now let me show you what i have done here so now in australia i have tried to do the experiment with the sleight of hand so i poured the water again now but now this time i've done it to a left hand side of the center of the sink which actually already produced a kind of momentum in the water with the rotation into the clockwise direction look at that so this is just a manipulation of whatever direction that you would want you can control it by sleight of hand also i have done the equator trick so australia is not at the equator but still i could drain the water straight with no spin and watch it i have stabilized the water enough and then i put this flower see there is absolutely no spin to the flower that is because i have mentioned you before here the vessel that he uses for the equator is very flat at the bottom that gives uh, no acceleration to the water because there is no inclination and then he stabilizes the equator water for a longer period of time than he does but you might ask me the question okay he also stabilizes the water at the hemispheres how would that not uh, drain uh, flat down because i will tell you what happens when he puts this water here when he puts the water here and then when he stabilize, stabilizes this there is already a momentum created in the water the water is going through like that but let's say that he if, if he puts when he puts uh, when he puts a stabilizer there to stabilize the water he only does this for southern and northern hemisphere for a brief period of time but for equator he does it for a very long period of time and now when you put this stabilizer in the southern hemisphere northern hemisphere uh, sinks the water will still be in momentum like that it used to be like this the, the red thing that you, the red line the red circle that you're looking into but when you put this deviation in middle it will still continue to rotate but in this half and this one would rotate in this half and when you take off this uh, stabilizer the water slowly so this vortex moves like this and this uh, spin moves like this ultimately forming the spin that he would want the same thing for here when he pours the water this already have got a direction to it a momentum to it in this direction and then he says he says that oh i'm stabilizing the water for a very brief period of time he puts something over here even though he puts uh, that that stabilizer there there is momentum in the water this momentum over here gets cut here and it, it it goes round and round over here the same thing it goes round and round round and round here and then when this is being taken off this circles around this goes around like that this goes go around like that and then they form into a spin that he initially started with so coriolis effect at this equator is now i think debunked so look at that so that equator does not pass through australia but i could demonstrate that there is no spin in the draining of water in australia so this is now debunked so uh, you would ask me then what about coriolis effect why do the why if coriolis effect is false then why you have those um hurricanes forming in different directions of course yes coriolis effect is true but having coriolis effect to be found in 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 this small radius of vessel is highly impossible number 1 and number 2 they are cheating people saying that this is the equator and then they take the they have this experimentations going on on the either side of the equator just 50 feet away from the equator the coriolis effect does not get changed in just 50 feet distance earth is a big planet it would it would take a larger distance if you could make uh, let's say let's go to america if if you could make a sink of as big size of a hurricane in america let's say 
if that's a hurricane uh, size, if you could make that size of a sink somewhere in northern hemisphere or in southern hemisphere, and then if you drain it, probably you would see some kind of uh, spin in it. But at this smaller scale, it's very negligible. It is almost zero. There are professors uh, like uh, Lloyd Nicholas uh, Trefton, who is a professor in Oxford University, who had done an experiment in University of Sydney here, uh, and he used a bigger size of a tub to drain the water, and this experimentation was done in a controlled environmental conditions, uh, controlling different factors like the air, uh, uh, currents of air, and the water has been stabilized for a longer period of time, uh, approximately 24 hours. And there's also a professor uh, in 1962 called as Asher Shapiro from in MIT had done this experiment in Northern Hemisphere in America. And then he also got a very minor spin. Again, these are at a very minor scales that they have done of six feet uh, di in diameter sinks or a water basins that they've done it. And they could see a, a minor uh, rotation towards the counterclockwise so it is there is no evidence that you could find this in your regular bathtub or sink or your kitchen sink or your bathroom flush that you could find this coriolis effect uh, having different directions in uh, different parts of the hemispheres is absolutely not possible because even though there are many people claim that we have achieved this in our hemisphere in our washrooms and bathrooms is only because the streams of jet in the washrooms that give that initial momentum to the water or the uh, the geometry of the bowl of the sink that how it is and if there is any residual motion in the water in the water that is being in the sink or the drain direction there could be there could be pre-existing momentum there could be many factors that could lead to this spin but definitely uh, you would not find the Coriolis effect in your uh, home, washrooms, bathrooms, or kitchen sinks. I hope uh, I have uh, made a good explanation and debunked this uh, age-old understanding myth and also people who scam tourists in the name of science. Uh, so that's my take on this. If at all, if you have interest I, I suggest you also to go through it learn something read something put your ideas if you've got any questions ask me and by the way if you see jupiter uh, jupiter also has got a, a storm going on from past 200 plus years so that is also because of the coriolis effect the, the big red the big giant red spot that you see uh, that is the storm that's happening from past 200 years. For us to see something like this in, in our sink, uh, this effects in our sink in, uh, on Earth, the Earth should have uh, the speed of the Jupiter. Earth relatively is very slow when compared to Jupiter. So it is highly impossible or very negligible, very near to zero, zero that you would find some kind of direction or spin of Coriolis in your wash basins. So that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope uh, you understand you take something with you uh, today uh, with some knowledge that you could put into uh, practice. I, I suggest that you all go home to this technique and you would do you would find this by yourself that how you can manipulate the direction of water. That's it. Thank you very much. This is Aditya Gunti. I thank you all for staying with me for this long period of time. You have a great day. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.